just a few days back, Midjourney came up with its zoom out feature. You can zoom out any any images generated by Midjourney up to 2x. That was the maximum limit. Now it has came up with another feature named pan. So now you can pan the images. Literally, you can pan the images as if you have uh, captured any image in, in your phone. Okay, so it's called panoramic. So how you can do it, I will quickly explain, explain you. So in version 5.2, let me just give a prompt. Okay, so this is the prompt and let me give some aspect ratio. Okay, so this is the prompt and let just wait for mid journey to come up with the result. So the image generation is waiting to start. So it has started generating the image. Meantime, let me explain you what panoramic image is. So when you are taking a picture in your phone with the panoramic mode on, what it does, you need to just move your phone left, right, up or down so that the all the images you have taken will be combined and it will generate is as a one image result. Okay, so the image has been generated. So first of all, for you to be able to pan any image, you need to upscale any image. Okay, so I will upscale any image that I like. Okay, so I like the second image. So I will upscale the second image. And then we will be able to pan that particular image. Okay, so it might have already. Okay, so someone has already used my image. Someone is already upscaling the third image. Yeah, okay, so that's okay. So let me see my image, yeah. So uh, it has been uh, upscaled. So this is the image, okay. So one thing to note, you can only pan up and down or left and right, okay. So once you start panning upwards or downwards, then you will only be able to pan upwards or downwards. Say for the example, you have started panning upwards, okay. So then you will be able to only pan further upwards or downwards. And if you have started panning left or right, then you will be only able to pan left or right. Cool? Okay. So let me just pan this image uh, to right side. So I will click over here, the arrow, which indicates the direction of right side. Okay. So I'll click over here, right. Before that, let me also tell you that if remix mode is on, you can also give a prompt before starting the painting feature. What it does, if you have remix mode on, mid journey will allow you to change or modify the prompt which you have already provided. Okay, so let me just turn on remix mode on. You can do it by prefer remix forward slash prefer remix or you can also do it in settings. Okay. So uh, my remix mode is on right now. So uh, I will pan this image to the right and mid journey will yes. So mid journey is asking me to modify my prompt if I want because I have turned on remix mode. Okay. So you can add anything. Let's say you can add some animals in this image or if you want some specific uh, plants or trees that also we can do. Let's just experiment. So what I will do, uh, tropical rainforest and I will hit a comma and I will write elephant. Uh, no, uh, let's say uh, lion and hit submit. Okay, so it might have started working on my prompt. Yes. Okay, so it has finished generating the image. So it has expanded the image to the right side because we provided, we instructed mid journey to pan my image towards right. We have also enabled the remix mode. So in which I typed lion. So mid journey added lion to the right side. Okay, 
Now further if you want to expand, for, sorry, further if you want to pan this image, that is also possible. What you can do, you can further upscale any of these images and uh, one more time you can pan any particular image. Say for the example, I like third one. So I will upscale the third image and what I will do, I will again change my prompt and I will again uh, pan it to left or right. Now let me try panning to left side. So I will click over here left and again mid journey will ask me to modify my prompt because I have enabled the remix mode. Okay. So I will delete line over here and I will uh, type what say uh, red roses and I will click submit. Okay, so again, it is waiting to start generating my image. Now, as I said earlier, because we have started with pinning right, now I, I am only able to pin left or I will I am able to pin right. Okay, you cannot pin it upwards or downwards. So it has started generating my image and you can see that some pink, some red flowers are being generated. So done, it has finished working on it. And again, we have four alternatives. You can see that lion is same in all alternatives because we have upscaled the third image and it has added some red roses in my image. So it has beautifully panned the image. So that's all guys, it's a very useful feature. Uh, use your creativity to get most out of mid journey. So that's the beauty of mid journey. You can get get most out of it depending on how creative you are. Okay. Thanks for watching. Be connected in B10X.